Hallo, bon dia, guten tag, namaste, buongiorno, salamat, pagi, bonjour and mahaba. Good day to your trader, this is Mario from Forex Other Way, the channel for traders run by a trader. In one of my previous videos I've shown you a chart of Great British Pound, USD and forecast based on the range of the market, the range which was between 10 of uh, June 2020 and I think it was 20 of March 2020, which has given some amazing results. The same story you can do when you project price only. You can project price into time. If you haven't seen my videos about it yet, just watch uh, some videos I made backwards since August this year. It's quite a few of them. In front of me, I've got a chart of. Uh, of calculated points based on 10th of June 2020 and there was uh, there was five out of eight hits but after adjusting it uh, all of them were 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 hits 100% at the moment so you can you can find out uh, on my web page uh, how i did that is a full description you will find the link below this video but in this video, I'd like to talk to you about something different. I would like to talk to you about the particularities of the square of nine. So let's start the rock and roll. This very funny thing, when you divide harmonically the square of nine in eight parts, you will get this cross over here and you will get two diagonals as well. So each of this part is considered as one eighth of the cycle. If you consider one year a whole cycle, so 45 degree corresponds to roughly 46 days. For the simple reason that a whole year is 365 days, point 24. If you divide it by 360 degrees, each degree is about 1.0145 days, which is a little bit over a day. If you multiply it by 45, you will get 4565, which gives nearly 46 days. So in this way, it is very interesting, uh, by the way, when you when you look at these dates I put over here, obviously on the cross uh, divides in quarters, divides the square of nine, and if you add up diagonals, you get eight equal parts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts. Well, W. Lee Degan considered that the year starts on uh, at the first day of the spring, which, which usually, falls on 21st of March. So this is the starting point when you go around the square of nine, full cycle, 365 days, falls again on this date. What is very interesting, on the cross, we got the season, beginnings of the season, which is uh, the summer, autumn, or the fall, winter, but it's more interesting other values which I'd like to show you right now because 45 degree or 1.8 falls at 6 of May starting from the first day of the spring and uh, whatever, 135 degree it falls on 5th of August. It is very strange as well. When you got 225 degree it falls on 3rd of November and 315 degree, it falls on 1st of February. I just put the dates, considering the starting point was 21st of March 2020, remember the bottom of the market after this funny stories with, uh, with pandemics and whatsoever. And uh, from that time on, when you analyze the market, you see the 6th of May, for example, let me show you, let's go to Let's go to EURUSD, I'll show you. 6th of May was my friend over... Here, I mark it with this line, it will be easier. 6th of May is this one. So we've got 6th of May, very funny date. When we go further, we'll try to find another 
another harmonic date, this one. Because usually, you know, the beginning of the summer or, or autumn or winter, we know all of us. But these days are very strange, but they are harmonic. They are just, you know, it's just uh, three, one, two, th is three eighths of the cycle of whole year. 5th of August, let me show you. That's 5th of August, somewhere here. It was somewhere here. 6th, 5th, over here. So right roughly the end of this uh, uptrend. And then market started ranging. Let me show you another one. Let's go further. We got 3rd of November. 3rd of November, my friend, is over here, I think, is this one. Or this one. I think it's this one. Yes, it is. The start of new uptrend or upswing. At the moment, we are on the high at 121.26. So we haven't been here since a long time. Let me show you another one. There is, I, I marked 1st of February 21, but also it works every year. So when you go to 1st February 31st of January is over here. This candle is uh, is 3rd of February. I think it was Friday 31st. Saturday was uh, Saturday was 1st of February. Usually in my calculation when when the calculated date falls on Saturday, I consider that Friday is the nearest trading day when the trend or swing should occur. If it falls on Sunday, I consider that usually Monday, next day, next trading day is the day when the market is likely to reverse. So this is the general idea. Obviously, you can use this division also in different way. You can also use it in this way. You can split the whole year in many more parts. So as on this table, you can split there in different uh, angles of the cycle, which are, I've got the degrees over here and obviously calculated here, the number of days from the starting point. So here I, I introduced 21st of March, 2020, and I got all these funny dates which are harmonic. 20th of July is harmonic, is one third of the cycle, 121 days, or 121 and a half, and 242 or 43, 1811. It's another harmonic cycle, so we can make a triangle of a year. And uh, I was experimenting with that uh, division, harmonic division of a year, and I was introducing different dates, and I tell you, some of them work pretty well. Well, I, adv I just strongly recommend you to, to play with these numbers, to find uh, local swing points, turning points, uh, or reversal points. It's very useful. Some of them work pretty well, some of them work worse, but it's worth trying. Obviously, you can you can learn all these projections of price into time and time into price, as I've shown you on my private tutorial sessions. So I teach you these methods, methodology of projecting the price into time into the future, which gives some really good results if you want to. If you want to know how this training is like, it's made over Skype, just uh, send me an email. Thanks very much for watching. Anyway, I wish you a very lovely weekend. Green peeps. I'll see you next time. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.